Hi, Hiram here. I got a comment from James May on my remote fuel station, possible benefit. It's a video that I just made. Uh, in it, he made the comment that I thought one of the purposes of using carbon felt was to get away from the need to preheat the alcohol, such as in a po penny stove or the white box stove. I have, James says, I have used the carbon felt stove at minus 25 degrees Celsius with a remote feed and it worked fine although it used a ton of alcohol to boil water I don't doubt it uh, I think part of the problem here is what is the definition of preheat on something like a penny stove this isn't a penny stove but it's the same type of a thing this is a stove I got from Colorado Camper you put alcohol in here it has a double wall the alcohol goes down between the two walls you heat up the stove it generates vapors between the two walls and comes out the jets and then becomes your, your burn. But you have to generate vapor from the alcohol. The same way with my favorite stove, my favorite burner rather, the Trangia. You put the alcohol inside. It's a double wall thing. Put alcohol in. It goes between the walls. When I light this in the middle, it heats up the whole stove so that that turns the alcohol into vapors, which comes out the jets and then it burns. So that's a preheat. It takes a little bit of time with that because you have to heat up the whole stove, the whole burner, so that it generates vapor. With carbon felt, it's a little bit different. With carbon felt, now this is just a little burner that I made. I forget when I did the test on this. It's just a roll of carbon felt stuck into a tea light cup. This is the cups that you have from the tea light candles. With this, you put alcohol in here, which, of course, with this, you're limited as to how much alcohol you can put in. That's why something like this is good with a remote fuel station. But you put your alcohol in here, and as long as the temperature's not to the point where the alcohol freezes, which I'm not sure off the top of my head what that temperature is, as long as it's liquid here, as soon as you stick a match on it, it's making <clears throat> vapors with the alcohol, which lights that. It's the vapors that light, not so much the, the liquid alcohol. It's that conversion from liquid to vapor, and then the vapor lights. So the preheat on something like this is like, what, milliseconds. Just put the match there, and you've got your flame. So it's a preheat, but it's very short. That's why I like using uh, carbon felt. You can take almost any container <coughs> you've seen in the past, I've used these Nivea cans where I put carbon felt, a roll of carbon felt in there, make a nice little burner, but you can't, it doesn't hold much. I made them where I cut a hole in the top to try to limit uh, how big the flame is with just carbon felt, real easy. Uh, I got a uh, burner here from one of my, the people that view my videos. He took an Altoids can, cut a square in it, put carbon felt in. You got a burner. No, not, no real preheat, just you light it and it's off and running. I did one with an Altoids can where I got the ones that slide open. I put a piece of carbon felt in there and the idea was that I could regulate the size with the sliding lid. Ah, it worked. So carbon felt is really cool. I mean, I'm even working on a, one of these jobbers where I have to cut this can off. It's a uh, tuna salad can with a ring of carbon felt around here with a bottle stuck in here kinda like the uh, Venom stove that was a pretty cool stove but it was very limited as to how much alcohol the stove would hold with this I mean you could fill this stove up to this level and it wouldn't flow out so it would give you a much longer burn but I'm kinda rambling here now anyway that was what the remote station was for for lighting up things like this. Now I've, I don't think I've done a video on this before <coughs> until just, excuse me, until just recently because most everybody wanted, seemed to want smaller and smaller and smaller. This was something I made for a project that I needed a long burn. But again, you can just hook up a carbon felt stove to it and go to town. So I have to look that up and see what the freezing temperature, freezing point of alcohol is.
I hope that helps you, James. I thank you for the comment. I mean, I always look forward to those. And I thank you for watching my videos. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.